Morning guys, welcome to Wolverhampton. I guess I'll be staying here for the unforeseeable future. Probably not long though, I do like to move. I thought today uh, I'd answer a question I get asked all the time, which is how do I write good songs? Uh, how did I become a good singer? How did I learn to play guitar? All of those things I'll answer very quickly and, and I hope it gives you some guidance if you're a musician yourself. Uh, to get better and improve yourself. For a long time, I was concerned about the way I sounded um, and I manufactured my voice, like I created it. Um, and that's where, if you listen to songs like I Got You and my earlier stuff, you'll notice that it's all very rocky. It took me ages to get the, the gritty, gravelly sound to come out my throat without tickling, without hurting. Now it's second nature, but if I could go back in time, I don't even think I'd do it because it was never me in the first place. I use my voice now and I feel like I found my voice now. But the way that that happened is I had to forget about what I sounded like at all. I had to take my mind completely off the sound and just focus on what the music meant to me. Equally, um, I've been playing guitar for seven years, but for the first four or five years, I really struggled. Even, even to play basic chords, I really struggled. I've never had a lesson, and it is tough learning how to play. But in the end, you know, seven, eight years down the line, people are telling me, oh, you, you're good now. How, how can you play? What's that chord? I don't even know. Just if you really want to do something, you'll do it. And I really wanted to put music behind my poetry and, and turn my feelings into songs so that I could express it and let it out for me. It's it, all the music that I make is, is very personal and it is for me and it's about me and it's the story of my life, the things I feel, relationships, breakups, events and all of those things it feels so much better to, to sing it out, to actually shout and get away with it, not be in trouble for that shouting. That's the inspiration behind my music so I'd suggest if, if you want to be a better singer, if, if you want to improve then you need to drop you need to drop the vanity of what the sound is and focus on the meaning itself like just i've never written a song in my life um that's that's my confession they're they're all mine and i write them after but normally i'm just playing and i'm just messing around and then and then it just comes it just comes out of me like like when a drunk person opens up in a pub and starts spilling their life story the same thing happens to me when I've got the guitar and I'm in the subway, it's quiet. I feel like I've got my own little world in front of me and I can just let it all out there. So if, if, uh, if you're gonna be a musician and, and you wanna keep improving, like I said, those are my techniques. Other people maybe focus on the sound a bit more than I do. Uh, I focus on the meaning. Uh, I suppose Leonard Cohen, is an absolutely fantastic example of somebody that can't really sing but is a wonderful poet and and puts decent back into that uh, Johnny Cash as well not not the greatest singer Bob Dylan not the greatest singer but it doesn't matter because their music is fantastic and and it's not even the music it's the poetry so for me formally I'm a lyricist and and that's that's the most important side of my work is getting that message out uh, you know half of it I'd say half of it's my life story and the other half is just an assortment of truth and beliefs that I have that I'd like to convey to people. I hope that was an explanation enough. I'm a bit slow this morning, it's quite early. So, comment, rate, subscribe, all that stuff. Take it easy guys.